Hello and welcome, it's Inea here and today I'm going to be making a floral card using Pretty Poppies dies by Long Phone and Distress Inks. So I went ahead and die cut several pieces of each element on the Pretty Poppies die set and don't worry about that flower, I just used a scrap for that because I'm going to cut that part off anyways. To add color to the poppy's petals, I'm gonna use two different shades of red distress inks and my blending tool. I'm going to start out with Abandoned Coral and I'm just applying the ink all over the surface of each piece because this is going to be my background color. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply some festive berries ink on different spots to add more dimension and then I go back with the Abandoned Coral ink to blend both tones of red together and create a nice transition. For the lips, I'm using two more Distress Ink colors. So first I'm taking the Mold Lawn Ink to cover completely all my lips and then I'm using Lucky Clover which is a bluish dark green and I'm applying it only on the bottom of my lips, blending it a bit with the lighter green. Using several colors of inks on your dyes adds a lot of dimension and interest to your card. To create the stems for the flowers, I'm just taking a piece of white cardstock and I'm cutting thin lines with my scissors. These don't need to be perfect at all. They will look more realistic this way than cutting them with a cutting board. To color them, I'm using the same inks and technique than I've previously used for the leaves. Just applying first some mode lone ink and then go with my lucky clover ink on the bottom of each stem. Last but not least, I'm going to add some color to all the center pieces of the poppies and I wanted them to be black but not a pure very dark black so I decided to start covering each piece with lucky clover ink and then do the same with black sooth ink. And I'm really happy with how that color turned out. It's important to color also the back of these pieces because I'm going to lift those little filaments up later and we don't want them to be white. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on the background of my card. And I'm gonna be using some more distress inks to color it. I have here Spoon Sugar, Warm Lipstick and Abandoned Coral and I'm going to create a gradient of color starting out with the lightest one to finish with the darkest one. By the way, I'm using Bristol Smooth Paper both for the die cuts and my background. I just love how easy it is to blend the different colors of ink on this paper and it turns out with a very smooth finish. I chose to make a tone on tone card but I'm sure it could look gorgeous if you use different shades of blue or green for your background too. And now that I have my gradient how I want it, I'm gonna take my little spray bottle and just spritz some water over the top to create small droplets and then I wet my hand with more water and I'm just sprinkle it over my background to create bigger droplets. 
While the background panel is drying, I'm gonna start mounting my flowers. I mold each piece with my fingers and the stitch lines are very helpful for that and I'm adhering them together with glue dots. With these die cuts I'm going to create two small poppies and a big one but I wanted one of my smaller poppies to be seen from the side so I just cut one of the petals from two of my smaller die cuts and other them together. Now that I have my three flowers pretty, I'm going to arrange all my little elements in a way that is pleasing to the eye and when I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to other everything to the base. For the leaves and flowers, I'm going to use glue dots and for the stems, I'm going to use liquid glue. After adhering all these stems, I just cut out the excess cardstock and then I can go ahead and adhere a stripe of white cardstock with foam adhesive. And that is where I'm going to be putting my sentiment, but before doing that, I'm going to glue that panel down onto a card base using my adhesive runner. For my sentiment, I'm gonna be using another die. This is from the Small Stitch Envelope die set. And I went ahead and die cut this Thanks Sentiment out of black cardstock. And I'm going to attach it to my card with liquid glue on its back. I think having thank you cards are always handy, but you can actually use a lot of different sentiments on this card. If you don't have dies, you can stamp something on the white stripe too. To finish this off, I'm going to take my glossy accents bottle and I'm going to apply some droplets here and there to add a bit of shine to the card. And that's going to complete our card for today. The supplies I use are listed link below the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, here I have two more videos that you may like. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day, bye!